So I've been working on a, on a project and I happened to be looking through some of the spell lists in the old player's handbook and on Earth Arcana and um, what caught my eye was the, the spell types um, and that's what I thought I'd uh, talk about today on Greyhawk Ragnar. So by spell types, what I mean are the uh, parenthetical descriptions in, uh, after the titles of the spells. So you have, um, you know, like necromantic and conjuration summoning, summoning those, those sorts of things. Um, I went through the book and I made a list and there are a bunch of these different types. We have conjuration summoning, uh, enchantment charm, alteration, necromantic, um, which is the only one that seems to be an adjective instead of a noun, uh, divination, abjuration, illusion, phantasm, and evocation. Um, there are a couple of exceptions. Um, for example, it, most of the spells are conjuration slash summoning. Um, they use that label. There's one spell, Fire Seeds, which is a druid spell, that is only conjuration. And I think that's a typo. Um, same thing goes for the spell Spiritual Hammer, which is a clerical spell. That's given as invocation, whereas all the other spells are evocation. So again, I think that's just a typo, uh, and I'm going to treat them as if they were the regular thing. Now, in terms of what they mean, Conjuration Summoning means you're, you're taking a, a creature from another place and bringing it here. Uh, generally speaking, summoning means you're taking a creature from the material plane and moving it to another part of the material plane, like animal summoning or monster summoning one, two, three, four, whatever. Uh, though, you know, those kinds of spells. Conjuring generally means you're taking something from another plane, so conjure elemental. They're not hard and fast rules using those, those terminologies, but 99% of the time that's, that's the differentiation between the two. Um, you also have enchantment slash charm. Uh, those are obviously, um, you know, you're, you're charming someone, you're, you're, co you're coercing them magically uh, to, to do or see or, or something like that. Um, uh, well, not see so much, but uh, it, you're, you're coercing them to change their minds uh, based on your will. Um, alteration, you're changing matter. You're changing things from one thing into another. So, um, you know, sticks to snakes is a, is a great example of an alteration spell. You're taking a stick, you're turning it into a snake. Um, necromantic, uh, and again, that, that bugs me that it's the only adjective in the list. Um, it has two very different meanings. Um, most of the time, it mean, it's, it's related to healing. You know, all the cure light wound spells, all that stuff. They're, they're called necromantic. You're disease, that kind of thing. Um, but there's also a connection of actual, what we would call necromancy, that is dealing with the dead. So the animate dead spell is necromantic as well. Um, you know, so there is that kind of, that's, that's one where there's a real uh, dichotomy based on the, uh, the term itself, um, where it's not too internally consistent, but the two things make sense given the term. Um, divination is um, finding out about what's going to happen or what is. Um, it, it's get garnering uh, intelligence and information. Uh, whether or not that is an appeal to some otherworldly power or you're just using your own powers to detect things that might be uh, hidden or distant or whatever, you know, so a um, uh, det detect invisible. Uh, de detect invisibility is a perfect example. Uh, it's a divination spell because it's letting you learn something that you didn't learn before. Um, abjuration is a protection spell. Um, it generally, it, like shield, is an abjuration spell. Um, it's a it's a great example of of uh, again you're using a word abju I abjure uh, means to um, to protect or defend so that's you know that that's where that comes from um, we have illusion slash phantasm that's pretty self explanatory it is creating a, a illusion whether or not it is uh, visible audible um, uh, or, or olfactory uh, or, or, or something else. It's letting you, um, you know, create a vision that's not there that's supposed to fool other people. Now, a lot of the higher level illusionist spells aren't just illusion slash phantasm spells. They some of them are uh, add in alteration as well, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, evocation creates something out of nothing. So. Um, 
uh, uh, you know, wall of fog. You're evoking something into being. You're creating it by means of your will. Um, and those are the different types of spells. Now, some of them are combinations, uh, as I mentioned. So, um, you know, some of the higher level uh, illusionist spells are uh, illusion slash phantasm as well as um, evocation or alteration uh, because you're taking matter and you're you're changing it some, in, to some degree or other. Um, the only spell that I know of that has three different types is guards and wards, which makes sense given that guards and wards is basically an amalgamation of a whole bunch of other spells. Um, you know, so it makes sense that that one's going to have a lot of spell types. But generally speaking, you're going to get most of them are one, some of them are two t different types. Um, and you might be asking yourself, so what does this all mean? Why why do we care what the spell type is? Well. It's not because of the specialist aspect. A lot of times, um, you know, people see the illusionist class and they think, oh, well, that means we should have an, uh, a conjurer class and an enchanter class and an alterer class and things like that. And, and many attempts to do just that have been made. Uh, but when you look at the spell list for the illusionists, um, it's the, the illusionist isn't there just to cast illusion slash phantasm spells. He has a much broader... Um, uh, 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 theme than just that. Because illusionists, as I've mentioned, at higher levels, they actually create things. They evoke things. They can change things through the power of their illusions. So they can do um, alteration, they can do evocation. But a lot of the uh, illusionist spells are also enchantment slash charm. So there's a whole uh, a realm of the illusionist where it's he's not just there to create to, to show visions that don't exist he's there to manipulate the mind of of others uh, whether or not that's showing things that aren't there or actually uh, um, controlling their mind through through different spells or whatever so uh, when, when I hear that I'm, I'm having done this it, it makes a little less sense to say oh we should have a conjurer class um, because that's much more specific and illusionist although it uses the name in the name of the class it's it's a much broader and much more thematically based uh, specialist now I can see doing other specialists um, and in fact I've I've done a necromancer class myself um, but uh, but again, it's not specifically. Oh, you're only you're going to cast only necromancy, necromantic spells. You're you know there's a lot of things that go around it. It's something that's associated with death um, uh, in general, not just a specific type of spell. So I think that's an important distinction to to remember when you're considering doing specialist spell classes. Uh, spellcaster classes is that you don't want to specialize just in a type of spell or type of magic you want to specialize in a theme that might fit well with a particular type of magic but it might not you know like a pyromancer is a great example you know you can have pyromancers that you know can use enchantment charm that you know the fire uh fire charm spell um or, or can use evocation because they're e they're evoking fireballs and things like that you know so there's a whole bunch of different types of magic that can be used in that theme of the uh, of the of the spellcaster but the real reason well not the real reason a, a major reason at least in ad and d that these uh spell types matter <clears throat> is when you go to other uh other planes and in manual of the planes they used the spell type to determine the effects of other planes on magic so for example um, if you are uh, if you are in the um, the outer planes um, you know it, it will tell you that these types of magic um, you know, a certain type of magic will have this effect, or the, um, you know, so um, just to take an example, uh, alterations, uh, you know, might change if you're in the abyss um, as opposed to being in um, the elemental, one of the elemental planes and such. This is a departure from how things were done earlier than manual planes. Before, um, for example, Queen of the Demon Web Pits, there were lists of, ex of specific spells and, and magic items and what happened to them. You know, so for example, here, um, uh, Unseen Servant will capture a lost soul of the Abyss who will be rude, uncooperative, and abusive. 
Um, the, the, what you got there was a lot more specific and a lot more colorful and you know because you know you're not going to get that kind of that kind of specificity in uh, in here where it's only talking about uh, general types um, but it is much more comprehensive this way and it's much easier to present for the DM um, you know so you know so that's a it's a trade-off you know you can use this system you know where it, it's based on type um, unless you want to uh, spend the time to go spell by spell by spell for the entire spell list um, like uh, you know like they did in here so anyway those are uh, my thoughts on the spell types let me know in the comments what have you ever used them uh, given them any significance what have you done with specialty spell classes uh, spellcaster classes uh, you know let me know in the comments what you think and uh, hope you enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later thanks for watching today's video please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel Below you'll find links to my Patreon, which helps make these videos possible. You'll also find the web store, where you can buy my books, and my blog, where you'll find all sorts of free downloads and other articles. Thanks, and have a great day.